Hello everybody! You've tuned in to yet another day of VEDS vlog every day in September. Today is day 21 and we're gonna talk about something called the elusive creature known as the Korean drama <laughs> or K-drama as those in the know will call it. Um, what is it? Some of you are gonna be like, what is she even talking about? And others are gonna be like, I'm clicking off right now. I don't, I, I don't even want to... <sighs> you know, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway because I could just talk about whatever I want. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, the Korean drama uh, is basically a form of drama television that uh, they do movies as well that comes out of South Korea. There's also a uh, very similar forms that come out of Japan and Taiwan, and so they're Japanese and Taiwanese dramas as well. And what they are is basically uh, all, of course, in their native languages, but you can get them with English dubs or subtitles. Uh, and hey, you know, if nothing else, you get to learn new languages while you watch, because now I know words like umoni and abuji, which is mother and father in Korean, by the way. Um, but what they are is basically they follow different stories, usually from the girl's perspective, a couple times from the guys, but usually from the girl's perspective, where she's like, uh, you know, a normal high school girl or something growing up in Korea, and she has a crush on a guy or, or likes some kind of guy, and somehow their fates are going to magically meet, and they're going to go through a bunch of action and shenanigans together filled with crazy music and uh, you know maybe some like animatronic blinking sounds that are really cute and have sidekicks and stick ups and like stuff that would never really happen in real life part of the time uh, but they're still fun to watch and uh, in the end you know she'll usually end up with the great guy and it's very fun it's not soap opera like America soap opera those are like I'm gonna have your baby and I'm your brother and you know stuff like that usually these ones the uh, problems are more like social status or the parents don't approve or uh, someone's rich and someone's poor or uh, you know things like that or someone had their heart broken and they can't get over that person they're very fun and funny it's kinda like part like the parents or family member usually there's somebody kooky so it's like part like drama part kooky comedy part you know fantasy cartoony aspects that come into it so it's very fun. Uh, I enjoy them. Uh, you get caught up in them, I will warn you. Like, if you start to watch these, be be careful, because uh, once I stayed up almost all night watching the series, because I couldn't stop. I'm like, I have to know! Like, in these ones it's also more wholesome, because it's, you know, it's Korea, it's Asia, so like, you know, I'm gonna say it, sex may not even come into the picture. It might just be like, a kiss or something. And in that way, I kind of like it. It's almost like the little things become even more important, and it's, it's also, you know, Anyway, it's fun. Um, but when I was younger, like a couple years before I got into it, I would like see my roommate or her friends watching it and I'd be like, why are they watching that? What's so cool about that? It's not even in English, you know? <laughs> it's not even in an American language. Uh, but they're really fun. And um, if you're going to watch any, I would suggest Boys Over Flowers, which is the Korean version. The original version is, in, is actually a Japanese drama called, oh my gosh, Hori... Dango or something like that, which is also worth watching. So either the Japanese or Korean version of that, or uh, Sung Kung Kwan Scandal. I know, right? Try saying that five times fast. Sung Kung Kwan Scandal, which is a historical drama, really fun. They have some historical dramas and some modern day stuff. It's really cool. And uh, I mean, you learn a lot about the culture and their history of nothing else. It's really fun. I like it. Like some of the shows today have no imagination, and these are all about imagination. So. Uh, and there's a bunch of websites you can go to, mysoju.com, uh, dramacrazy.net, um, Vicky is another one, but base, and Hulu actually uh, has some of these as well. So I encourage anyone who wants to to go check them out. Uh, it's probably more of a girl thing. I'm going to be honest, a lot of my topics are going to be girl stuff. I'm a girl. Sorry, guys. But I think guys would like it. I mean, some of them are cool. Like, there's some really crazy sword fights and other stuff, and, like, lots of beating up of people, so... <laughs> those guys would enjoy. Um, but that's all for today. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, subscribe up here, up here. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow on the next day of beds. And bye-bye for now.